How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you the books that I picked up for the month of August 2020 and they are both of the new DC Omnibuses and let's just get right into it. First up, this is going to be The Batman by Grant Morrison Volume 3 Omnibus which finishes finishes off the trilogy. I think most of this, if not all of it, is already included in the Absolute Edition of this. Here's the front of, of the book. It's fine back it collects issues of batman the return issues one batman incorporated series one issues one through eight batman incorporated series two issues zero through thirteen batman incorporated leviathan strikes back issue one batman incorporated special issue one retail price is about 75 dollars so yeah and that's looking the art overall i enjoyed the story I kind of made a rookie mistake on this, and which was reading volume three first instead of reading the whole thing as it started, due to the fact that I have the op uh, due to the fact that I have the absolute edition. Maybe someday I'll do the absolute and omnibus comparison. Who knows? Overall, I enjoyed the art. And I think most of it's done by Chris Bernu and Yannick Biquet, which if you know Grant Morrison, those are his frequent collaborators with him. And they've done some awesome, awesome projects together. Like Batman and so many others, like on the indie scene, on the independent scene. And that's how as far as I'll go before I go into spoiler area and ruin it for you guys. And then the second book that I picked up is something that I'm surprised it took this long, but I'm glad it happened. And let's just get right into it. It is The Green Arrow, The Longbow Huntress Saga Omnibus, Volume 1 by Mike Grell. And it's also put out by DC Black Label. Due to the fact there is some nudity, and that's why you see the little benchmark right there. Or, and here's the spine. Back, it collects issues of the Longbow Huntress one through three, Green Arrow issues one through fifty, and the Secret Origins issue thirty-eight. And I think I have every issue of Green Arrow. Here's the table of contents, and I'm finally glad they put it out in this oversized collection. That way I don't have to get 20 to 30 issues at a time and just have it in my lap. I'd rather have one big thing, one big book in front of me so I can just read and flip the pages. But this is something that I'm glad it came out. I would say maybe out of DC, all the characters, Green Arrow would be my favorite. I don't know if it was thanks to the show, thanks to Stephen Amell's portrayal of it, but there's something about Green Arrow that I've always liked. A 
I've always said he's kind of the poor man's Batman. In the way he kind of is. And if you want to read like a good Green Arrow story or adventure or whatever, this would be a good place to start. And I think this might be the biggest DC book now or close to it. Because it's like about 1,500, 600 pages. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And I didn't, and I didn't have a too big of a problem reading this or following along. Due to the fact it still takes me time to get used to the old way of reading comics due to the blocks and all that i'm finishing up silver surfer as we as i'm talking and i've been enjoying it and it's kind of kind of hard to read due to the fact it's old but i'm glad it got re got it printed out and reprinted when it did So yeah, I mean, that is the Green Arrow, the Longbow Huntress Saga, Omnibus, and the Batman Volume 3 Omnibus. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Take care.